These comments in relation to Chebyshev inequality and so-called weak LP classes. Uh, classically, Chebyshev inequality is something like this. It's the inequality between the P norm and the distribution function. So, in fact, I should add here. Uh, now, in fact, um, if I make it more explicit, then the if I replace what the distribution function is and what the norm P norm is, then it will look like this. And the inequality claims that this is true for every P integrable function as long as P is a number like that. And also, I should add here that it's all, this is also true for any non-positive T. That's the Chebyshev inequality. Uh, it's a famous inequality. It is used uh, in many fundamental arguments. Um, and uh, quite surprisingly, the proof of this inequality is a very simple application of comparison principle. Um, so here it is. If you consider this set A sub t like this, by definition, this is a set of those points where function greater than t. Or obviously, because uh, power t is the monotone function, this is the same as to say something like this for every x in a sub t. Now, observing this, I claim the following inequality between two functions. The indicator scaled by the t to the power p is controlled by the absolute value of f to the power p, because over, over the set a t we do have this inequality, and everywhere else this function is zero, and this one is not zero. Uh, at least, uh, not negative, in fact. So if you use this inequality, and if you use comparison principle, is the relation between the corresponding integrals, and that is the Chebyshev inequality, because this integral is precisely this measure. And that finishes the proof of the Chebyshev inequality. <coughs> now, in the remaining part of this comments, I will comment on one extra concept, which uh, arises from the notion of Chebyshev inequality. It's a concept of weak LP classes and weak LP quasi-norms. So that's a concept which, which is shortly defined with this identity. The weak LP, well, loosely speaking, people say norm, but in fact it is quasi-norm. And I'll explain the term quasi in a second. Uh, so weak LP quasi-norm, it's, it's a quantity like this. It's when you take the product, when you take the pth power of this expression on the left-hand side, and you take the supremum for all t's between 0 and infinity. Uh, the reason why we call it a quasi, oh, it is a finite quantity, as long as your function originates from LP, because the, this number will be controlled by this right-hand side, well, root p of this right-hand side. So this is a finite number for every function in LP class, uh, and this is in fact quasi-norm, and I'll explain the term quasi-norm right now. First, it is a homogeneous quantity, meaning that if I scale f here, the quantity will be scaled by the same amount, and that is that will follow from the following observation. If you compute the distribution function of a scaled function f with some scalar a, this is the definition of a distribution function. Now, you can equally rewrite this inequality like this, which makes it the distribution function of function f uh, at the point t on a. That is true for every positive a. Now, if you use this identity between these two distribution functions, and if you use the way we define my quasi-norm, then you will have something like this, the weak LP norm of scaled f, that's the supremum like this, which is replacing this uh, distribution function with the right-hand side like this, gives you something like this, and then making a substitution, if you just sub this fraction for t dash, it will be something like this, and you end up with the homogeneity. So that's the substitution we made here. So this is a homogeneous quantity, uh, but unlike other norms, unlike, for instance, the norm here, this is not the quantity which is subject to triangle inequality. In fact, the best we can expect, the best we can hope for, 
is something like this. Uh, I will prove this inequality in a second. Uh, that's why, that's the reason we call this quantity quasi-norm, because we don't have triangle inequality. We can't drop this two here. In fact, it's a good task for everyone to try to find a counterexample why this number two cannot be dropped from here. Uh, but with the number two, we do have the inequality, and that is called the quasi-triangle inequality, and that's why this is called the quasi-norm. Now, the reason we have this inequality is is like this, if we compute the distribution function for the sum f plus g, which is by definition this quantity, you can observe that you can control this thing by something like this, and that's a, that's a kind of argument I presented a few times already, you just, that's what, we, that's what you will have here, and again by the definition, just, this is just a definition of the distribution function, now, all I will observe now is that uh, we have the inequality like this between two positive numbers, A and B. If you take the pth root here, which will equivalent of taking the pth root here, and if you apply the inequality like that, and then you scale this by the number t, you will come to the inequality like this. Each of these quantities, this quantity, this quantity, and this quantity, individually, well, if you take the supremum over t, they will return this number, and that will conclude the proof of this quasi-triangle inequality. Yeah. Now, basing on this observation, uh, the following concept is introduced. It's a concept of the weak LP class. That's the notation for that. And that's a definition. It's a collection of all measurable functions. It's a collection of all measurable functions for which the supremum appearing in the definition of the quasi weak quasi LP norm is finite. Now, for every function like this, you can introduce this concept. So you can extend this f from this from the LP class to this LP weak class weak LP class, and that will be a quasi-norm on this object, and that's why this object also called the quasi-Banach space. Obviously, due to Chebyshev inequality, we have that the LP is a continuous subs, uh, continu continuously embedded into the LP weak. It's a, basically, it's just a manifestation of Chebyshev inequality.